I think uh, normally the speaker was supposed to be Sandeep Arya in the list, uh, but uh, you might notice um, uh, I look like Sandeep. And um, the reason is um, Mr. the speaker actually had a last minute uh, logistical emergency and he was unable to attend. So there was a last minute substitution in which I had to jump in and make a sp uh, give a presentation on Samsung Pay. So he would like to extend his apologies for that. So what I'm going to do is uh, going to give an overview of how a handset manufacturer is viewing on the opportunity of the mobile payment. And before we go in further, what I would like to do is show a short video of how the existing users of Samsung Pay has been going through purely from the user perspective. Let's go on to the video, please. Hannibal, I'm going to use Samsung Pay to get a Katz's Deli pastrami sandwich. America Swiss. Hey! What's up? I'm going to get a pastrami sandwich on a ride, mustard, and put a little yenta on there. What's the yenta? I don't know, man. Just put it on the sandwich. Do your job. Hey, can I pay with my phone? You mean like Apple Pay? We don't no, have that. No, like Samsung Pay. Kind of works everywhere, even on this janky old right. thing. He wants to pay with his phone. What do you want, Hannibal? You guys take Samsung Pay? We take money. You got money? Does this look like the face of a man that's ever been wrong? It's you want to watch me? Don't cameras. look at the cameras, Mike. No. Stop looking at the cameras. All right. You ready? It doesn't okay. work. Watch me. <laughs> Boom. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Samsung Pay is here and pretty much everywhere else. I forgot, I forgot my food. Can you get out of here, dude. So what you just saw was a um, um, U.S. Uh, comedian actor called uh, Hannibal Buress uh, using his uh, Samsung phone. And uh, as you know, Samsung is not the first. Uh, uh, Samsung Pay is not the first uh, wallet to, to come to the market. There has been other generations of the mobile wallet that came in. The real challenge was uh, how to make it universally accepted so that the user will be able to finally change his or her behavior from using the existing form factor into a mobile factor. So in my presentation, I'm going to cover three items. First one is uh, what countries we have done, and then uh, some product features, as well as the partners list. First one is, uh, in terms of the features, there are three key features uh, that uh, have been defining the characteristics of Samsung Pay. And those are simplicity, security, and uh, virtually anywhere, or in other words, the universal acceptance. And we think the success of the mobile payment, or at least to put it the other way around, from the user perspective to shift his or her behavior from the existing form factor into mobile factor is we need to satisfy those three criteria. The first criteria, simplicity, what we have done is uh, first of all made it user friendly to make it simple. In other words, in order to activate a payment from the mobile phone, all the person has to do is just swipe up uh, from the home button and that one single action would trigger or invoke the payment functionality. And it works even when the home screen is turned off. And that's uh, what it is. The second part is obviously uh, selecting the card and then put the fingerprint onto it with a biometric authentication and then just tap it. Simple as that. It's nothing then simple as one, two, three. The second part is obviously the security. And when we did a survey among the consumers, one of the factors that actually prevented many of the users into changing the behavior was the concern of the security. How do we address it? Is mobile payment secure? Is my data inside the phone get secure? So we took a hard approach of taking three steps. The first one is what we call the Samsung Knox platform, which is a security platform especially dedicated for Samsung. And it is a, its primary purpose is to make it uh, the storage, secure storage of the data secure. And it has been widely used by uh, government agencies such as FBI and the Dubai police. And the basic functionality of Knox is 
Um, to put it simply, if you watch in a f spy movie where if a spy gets captured by an enemy and the enemy tries to torture the spy, the spy would actually take what you call a cyanide pill and then make the information unavailable. This is what the Nox does. If somebody attempts to hack the phone, it detects the attempt at the hacking and it would basically make the data inside the phone disappear. And that is the reason why we put the Samsung Pay leveraging by that Nox. The second feature is what we call tokenization. The actual payment data that is stored into the phone is not actually the card data that is from uh, his or her wallet. What we've done is we have partnered with the major card schemes and banks, such as Visa and MasterCard and American Express, to leverage on their tokenization so that whatever payment credential is uh, put into the Samsung Pay is uh, a token and not the actual live card. So your exposure to the card hacking is limited. Last but not least is the biometric. We actually put in so that uh, if the phone gets lost and stolen, no one would be able to activate it unless uh, the, it is put with the proper finger. And uh, we tell you it is not going to end there. As you see a new evolution of technologies on, in the coming months and years, we think that we'll be adding additional layers of securities of a format of biometric to make it much more stronger. Now, the third factor, universal acceptance. And this is a pretty much the most talking point uh, when we engage with the banks and partners. What does a Samsung Pay make it different? We say universal acceptance. And I previously mentioned that banks, pay, there have been many banks that attempted, attempted to deploy mobile payment. And one of the reasons uh, we have seen many of the failures was the lack of universal acceptance. The, the lack of guarantee was confidence that whatever the payment is available in the market would be accepted by majority of the merchants. What we have done is uh, made a combination to make sure that the Samsung Pay works, obviously, on the NFC, but also a new technology called MST, which stands for Magnetic Secure Transmission, which allows the phone to effect a transaction on the existing merchant terminals that are, have not upgraded to support contactless or radio frequency NFC payment. And uh, because of this, we think we view that when a person with a Samsung Pay tries to the merchant, transaction at the merchant, the user doesn't have to worry about whether this merchant supports the mobile payment or not. It will be the combination of NFC and MST on Samsung Pay ensures that the user will be able to succeed the transaction on any merchants in a country or anywhere around the world where Visa, MasterCard, or American Express is accepted. And it is because of this confidence of the universal acceptance that allows the user to gain confidence in doing more transactions on the mobile factor and thus facilitate the change of behavior from the existing card phone factor into the mobile phone factor. And uh, I will tell you later how this has translated into the business case of the usage volume. Now, Samsung Pay was first launched in Korea and US last year. And uh, the combination of those three factors, such as the simplicity, security, and universal acceptance, has translated into the numbers. And I'm not talking about the numbers of the users, which is the 5 million in the first six months, but the one that will be much more relevant to all of you, especially for our financial partners, is the transaction volume. We have generated a payment volume purely from this Samsung Pay of $500 million. And that was within the first six months. And I have a in very, very good latest news to share with you. In Korea alone, just two weeks ago, we have exceeded a total payment volume on Samsung Pay of uh, 1 trillion Korean won, which is the equivalent of uh, 1 billion US dollars. Imagine 1 billion US dollars being done on mobile phone factor. And uh, this is the kind of number that uh, when I was working in financial institutes about many years ago, 
Nobody could have imagined the mobile phone factor could achieve that number. Well, here it is. A mobile phone payment that comes in and generates almost achieves $1 billion, which is almost comparable to a GDP of a certain country, and it is growing. So when we talk to the banks, we show the numbers, not the technology. It's purely a business case to ensure the better return on investment. Second, we, after US and Korea, we have launched in China. And then we recently announced that uh, additional markets that are going to be added in are starting with Europe, uh, Spain, and UK. In Southeast Asia, we are adding in Singapore and Australia. And then in the American continent, uh, Brazil and Canada. And those are the announcements, and we have additional markets to come in as well. Uh, we have been receiving strong requests from banks around the world, including banks from this region. So in the last uh, six, six minutes, uh, we're also going to share what is our roadmap, what are the things. So, so far, I've explained only on the payment side. We do believe that uh, there's a certain opportunity to leverage on the payment platform to provide additional features, such as value-add features. Uh, one is the gift cards, uh, which enables, uh, in which we are launched in USA by working with many of the existing prepaid card issuers and gift cards to allow the user to uh, use the Samsung Pay to actually uh, pay and uh, send the gift card uh, products from one channel to another one with Samsung Pay. And we plan to add that feature into other markets. Second one is uh, obviously the loyalty and the membership. Uh, we actually see that uh, because of the technology of the MST, we realize that, that this service is not only relevant to the banks, but also to our merchant partners. There are many merchants uh, that have uh, been using their so-called loyalty and membership using the existing conventional cards. And uh, with the offerings of our platform, we are actually enabling them to onboard the products into our wallet to make it much more easier and uh, accessible. Um, this is also one of the favorite features that has been applicable in Korea. Uh, we have uh, partnered with uh, major banks uh, to enable the mobile payment to be used in ATM machines. So a Samsung Pay phone user would be able to withdraw cash or effect a financial payment on the ATM uh, without bringing out the physical card. And what we have done is uh, we'd like to show a video of uh, all those features uh, to help you explain what, uh, how this, uh, what we'll do is we'll show you a two minute video that will help you visualize what it will look like. So video please. Make your life easier with Samsung Pay's five new features. Membership, gift cards, transit, ATM, and online payments all in one place. Membership, redeem points for rewards and benefits. Gift cards, keep all your gift cards in one place for easy use. Transit, pay on the go. ATM, make withdrawals with your phone even without a card. Online payments, shop seamlessly in-app without leaving your screen. More than a phone, more than a payment. Simple, secure, virtually anywhere. The key message is, and one of the key learnings is uh, this cannot be done by itself alone. This requires a partnership with the major stakeholders. And uh, here's the one key message from Samsung mobile phone as a handset manufacturer is we need partnership. And uh, 
it is based on the collaboration with existing service partners because we are not the financial payment service provider. That is uh, done by the financial entities. The merchant service is uh, to be done by merchants, not by Samsung. What we do is enable a platform, a fully integrated frictionless platform that allows your service to be onboarded onto the mobile phone to provide value, additional value and utility to your customers through our devices. And that's uh, done with the three different approaches. First one is financial partners. We work based with a full integration with uh, our Visa, MasterCard, and American Express, as well as the network, the, the banks that are associated with these networks. And we also work with uh, uh, technology service providers that, such as Gemalto and Overture to facilitate the system integration of that service into the Samsung Pay. The other one is uh, merchant acceptance. Obviously, uh, the contact point for the merchants and the users to effect the transaction is done at the merchants. That's what we call where the rubber hits the road. And we engage partnership with the key strategic merchants to ensure how to educate the users, but also to make sure that we also how to develop new loyalty membership products that enable merchants to offer their own proprietary offerings into a mobile phone factory. And last but not least, as you, can see, you have seen in Korea, we have also added in things like transit feature, which is a widely used feature, or what we call a killer application. And uh, this also means uh, that we seek uh, collaboration with uh, other proprietary payment service providers, uh, such as um, airlines and the transit operators to integrate into our devices. And this is uh, based on the full collaboration with all the stakeholders that define the full ecosystem that are required to make a mobile payment successful. Last but not least, these are the um, list of the partners that we have been working in, and the list of the list is growing. And with this, this is my final uh, slide. And what I'd like to summarize is that uh, Samsung Pay can be defined in four key points. The first one is it is simple, based on the simplicity. The second key point is the security, based on the NOx and the tokenization and the biometrics. And the third is the universal acceptance, the so-called what we call the belt and suspender approach of the mobile payment, so that the user will be able to perform the transaction wherever, whatever form of merchant is being done, whether the merchant is ready to accept NFC or contactless payment or not. And fourth is the collaboration, partnership with all the key stakeholders to make that successful. With this, I would like to conclude my presentation and uh, hope for, I hope it was uh, helpful for you to understand. Thank you very much. <laughs>